Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the last video, we have learned how you can schedule your, how you can create the job in using workflow, and you can run the schedule your notebook. So in the notebook, uh, we have just one line as a print, uh, print hello or print Sumit. So what I will do is I will little bit change the things. So if you come here, so there is a task. And in the task, this is your, this is that uh, notebook. So let me click here and open it. So it got open. So I will pass the name from the parameter. So what I will do is, I want to, I want to pass name from parameter means I want to create one parameter. And name is, value is name and here I will give Sumit. Okay. So if I want to take it from here, so what will happen? So how you can get the value, parameter value uh, from uh, from job? So this is your job. You create the parameter. Let's suppose that you create the parameter called in environment, and the, and based on the environment, you want to run the job. But for testing purpose, I want to pass the name. So if I'll pass the name Sumit, it will print me hello Sumit. It will pass Amit, and it will print hello Amit. So 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 this is one use case. So I will save this. Okay, and you have name here. So, in my previous video, we have learned the widget things. So, you can go here and you can modify, write the command called name equal to dbutil. Okay, dbutil dot widgets dot get, and in the get, you have to pass name. And then here we'll we'll write f and then hello name. So that's all. Okay. So, so, so that that's all. How you can get? Uh, I have I told you in this video like how you can get the value of the parameter and you can use it in the code. So let me run it and I will show you in the both case. So this is already saved. Okay. Okay. And let me just write here yeah, something else like Amit. Amit. Save it and run it. You can again click here and go to view run, or you can come here run and you can monitor your run. It will take some time. Right now it is starting the cluster. Uh, we call it cold start. So let's wait for that. So you can see this got job got succeeded and you have the output called uh, hello Amit. So this is very useful. If you want to pass any parameter from workflow, you can pass the parameter and you can get it using dbutil widgets.